So in this segment, we're going to talk about how to do a cable in this Tunisian crochet cabled scarf. Um, this scarf is made using three yarns. There is an acrylic made to look like wool. There is a novelty yarn to give it some of this fuzz. And there is a gold crochet thread to give it some of that metallic. Uh, the sample that we'll use today is much smaller, same exact pattern. Um, and you can see a little bit better. There's a knit on each end, a purl on each end. There is a six stitch cable in the middle. And two tricks here. One is these purls on each side help the cable to pop off the fabric a little bit. There is also a yarn over in the middle of the piece that helps the fabric, or helps the cable pop off of the fabric a little bit more as well. This method of inserting a yarn over between your cables was developed by Arnie, Arthur of the Encyclopedia of Tunisian Crochet. She could be found at www.shecrochet.com. So we're ready to do the five row repeat on our sample swatch. You can see there are two cables here already. Leading up to the cable, we have two rows that have a yarn over in the middle, then the cable row, and then two rows afterwards just keeping in pattern. The cable leading up helps your uh, twist, your cable, to lay flat because even after blocking without a yarn over in there, sometimes you still get a pucker or a twist in your fabric. The pattern here is a knit, purl, your six stitch cable, a purl, and then a knit on the end. So again, the two setup rows have the yarn over in the middle. So we'll start off, knit, purl, and we will split the cable three and three. So we'll do the first three stitches, yarn over, and then in the next vertical bar, the second three stitches. Three more knits, then to finish it up, a purl, knit, and as always, this last stitch, pick up those last two vertical bars, yarn over and pull through. Return pass, yarn over, pull through one, and then the rest of the way across, yarn over, pull through two. This next row is the same thing. You can see we're starting to see a little bit of a space here where the yarn over was. We're going to do the same exact thing. When we reach this space, completely ignore it. We're just going to put our yarn over in that space. So again, we knit, purl, knit the first three, We're going to yarn over and in this next vertical bar, knit one and then two, three. Whoops, purl that last one, the next one, knit and knit the last stitch. Then return pass all the way back. Technically, you only have to do one row of the yarn overs in the middle. I do two. It tends to help your fabric lay a little bit flatter. Three would help it lay even flatter, but it would also put your cables farther apart. So it's really a matter of preference. So you can see the little space forming here where they're kind of veering out from each other. But this next row is the cable, so that's going to bring them back together. To do the cable, I'm just going to use a double pointed knitting needle. The size doesn't really matter. We're not going to crochet on or off of it. It's just meant to hold your stitches. So here we go. We're going to knit and purl, just like always. We're going to knit the first three. And we're going to move these three stitches onto our double pointed needle. 
hold them in front for this pattern and we're going to knit into this next vertical bar. I do tend to keep this first knit stitch a little loose. I don't want this stitch that's being held on my double pointed needle to get too tight. So I tend to keep the tension on this one a little looser than I would typically when I'm knitting. So you knit those, the second three, the second half of your cable. And now we're gonna take these three stitches and just put them on the end of our crochet hook. And you'll know if you've pulled those second three too tight, this will be really twisted. You can see mine is laying somewhat flat. It'll loosen up as we keep going. And we'll finish out the row. Pearl. Knit. Knit the last stitch and return pass. This return pass is going to help loosen it up almost right away. And then the by the time we go through the next two rows, it'll be almost flat. With blocking, it will be completely flat. Just a note here, sometimes it's a little tricky on the return pass there to make sure you're only pulling through two stitches. With the cable, it's easy to sometimes pull through three by accident. Just take note of that. So you can see the cable. These next two rows are just strictly in pattern, no increases or decreases. The first one is a little tricky because the first three knits of the cable are kind of hidden back here. Let me see if I can pull it open so you can see. Here they are, the three vertical bars are one, two, three back there. So just be careful, make sure you do those three first, then the three that are up front, which are a lot easier to see. So again, we're going to knit and pearl. And we're going to knit these three vertical bars that are in the back first. One. Oops. Two. Three. And then these three up front. One. Two. Three. The rest of the row, purl, knit, and knit in this last stitch. Okay, and return pass. And this last row is just keeping in pattern. It's a lot easier this time to see the six stitches in the center that create the cable. We're going to knit, purl, knit the six in the center. And I feel like I've split one there. There we go. There, four, five and six, and just finish up the row as usual with the purl, knit and knit. So if you wanted to increase or decrease, well, I shouldn't say decrease because this scarf probably can't really get any skinnier, but if you wanted to increase the width of your scarf, you could up it from one purl on each side to two. That would also give you a little bit more definition between your cable and your knit edge. So you could increase the pearls here. If you like having this thinner bar, you could increase some knits on each side here. But that's it. If I was going to do the next cable, I would start with two rows with the yarn over, the cable row, and then two rows keeping in pattern.